As I remember it growing up and being a kid here, I always remember that my nan and the whanau as a whole welcomed in people. It's always been about connection and being together and trying our best to look after one another. Kōkiri waka ama, um, as I see it now that I'm older, is all the best of who we are as a people is what we try to reflect and what we do with this kaupapa. how we all became involved with the Waka Ama. It was, uh, it was through my mum. So we came down here from Uawa back in 1960, 62, I think. Back then there was that promise of jobs in the city. So the old man put us all in, in the old neighbor's truck and brought us down here to uh, Wainui. And all these years later, we're still here. Back into the day, while we're talking about Waka Ama, which was a tool which my, my mother wanted to have a look at and see how they could best use that as a way of getting through to our kids who school was failing them. And so she came up with this brilliant idea about, well, let's, let's do it through Waka Ama. You know, back then, what's Waka Ama? We, we didn't have a clue what that was all about. But my mum, being the re resourceful person that she was, knew where um, she could get her hands on a cup of waka and that was out of Gisborne. My uncle was a bit of a boat builder and, and his sons, Marae Kura. And from there, they, uh, they built a couple of, couple of waka, shipped them down here and as they say, the rest is history. I've seen pictures just out here actually of, you know, from the past where wakas lined the beaches and they were freely just sort of sitting there and people used them to do everything that they needed to do to a, to a point in time where they're not there and why is that? And what does that um, disconnect from our past and what's happened in our past? How does, how does that affect our people? I think that has a huge effect on our people. From a tūpuna perspective, it's about interaction interacting with the tayo. Whenever I paddle I have a connection to Tupuna and I have a connection to my past. The way um, the water moves, the way the moana um, reacts, how we see that moana, how we use the paddle to turn canoes and how the water flows over the top of your your hoi, what that connection does to the canoe and with the people that are in that canoe seen other people paddle and bring their whānau into the fold and seen them thrive. That stuff, that's actually what really has been the biggest motivator for me in this stuff. And it's amazing, it's amazing to see. Every lōpū has their own way of doing things. Every club has, its, has a particular ātua. Find that ahua that suits you and roll with it. If whānau you want to um, come down and have a have a jam with kōkiri marae, you know, waka ama, then that's easy. You can find us on Facebook, I suppose, or you can ring the marae. You can uh, ask for you can ask for me if you want, and we tee up a time and you come down and you start paddling. Simple as that. That's what it's about. For us, that's what it's about for me, getting whānau on the water.